Good morning, Canyon Lake. It's Erin Woods, your children's ministry coordinator. And today we're talking about something that's kind of sad. Have you ever hurt someone? Like maybe somebody asked to play with you and you said no. That kind of thing really hurts feelings, doesn't it? Or maybe you got really upset and you pushed or hit someone. That actually hurts their body. And then there's always those times when we call people names. And again, that really hurts their feelings. And a Band-Aid is not going to fix it. Okay, here's my second question. After you hurt this person, what did you do next? Did you just walk away and it was over? Or did you try to help that person? Maybe get them a Band-Aid, help them up, go get help, say you're sorry. I hope that's what you did. You see, we all make mistakes, don't we? And it's important that when we make mistakes, that we try to fix them. Okay, last question. After you helped that person, is it now over? You said you're sorry and it's over. You just forget about it and you just walk away and hopefully you learn from your mistake and you don't do it again. I mean, that is good. I, I don't want you to do it again, but I don't want you to forget about it. I want you to learn from your mistake and then be on the lookout because now you know that that's not okay and you know how that person felt. So now you want to be on the lookout for other people that that might be happening to too. Keep a lookout for the people that are hurting or about to get hurt and go help them. This is called being an upstander because you're not standing on the side. Being a bystander, you're standing up for them and being an upstander. Does that make sense? Joe always tells me stories about when he plays soccer at school. And it's really hard because he has all of these wonderful friends that he plays soccer with and he wants to be their friend. But sometimes he sees things happening that aren't good things. People being left out, people being made fun of when they don't make a goal people being made fun of when they don't kick right, or maybe they don't know the rules. And I'm so proud that Joe understands and recognizes that that is not good. And several times this year, he's come home and told me, Mom, I stood up for so-and-so and made sure that everybody else knew that it was not okay to make fun of them for that. Or, Mom, they were leaving out so-and-so, and so we went and played our own game by ourselves. These are all really good examples of times when you can be an upstander and help others. This is not easy, but I know that you have the courage and the bravery to do it. You just got to keep your eye out. And remember, I'm there for you and so is God. Have a great week.